all know Mark Zuckerberg is a multi-billionaire and with his fortune he's apparently invested in 10 properties across 4 different cities. Despite this, the main home he lives in is pretty modest, it might surprise you. The reason he buys so much real estate isn't because he's greedy, he claims it's to ensure privacy. In this video, we're going to take a look at Mark's main residence in Palo Alto and his other properties spread between the US and Hawaii. Best known for founding Facebook or co-founding, Mark Zuckerberg is an internet entrepreneur, a famous one, and philanthropist. I consider him famous because there aren't too many dudes who get a motion picture made about them so early on in their career, never mind one with Justin Timberlake in it. And of course, these days Mark is still the chairman, CEO, and controlling shareholder of Facebook too. Time Magazine has steadily counted Mark among the richest and most influential people in the world since 2010, and he's also been in the Forbes Top 10 World's Most Powerful People. At the time it's recording, Mark is 35 years old, but back in 2007, he was already the world's youngest self-made billionaire at the ripe age of 23. I think he sounds like the real self-made type a little more than some on that list these days. Sorry Kylie Jenner. But Mark did go to Harvard. Speaking of Harvard, Mark has come a long way from living in his little dorm on campus where he launched Facebook and where it all started. That was back in 2004 and I don't know if he predicted all that he would accomplish next, or the gorgeous houses he would have, or how many. His current estimated net worth is over 60 Six billion dollars, making him the fifth richest person in the world. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at the properties billionaire Mark Zuckerberg owns that are spread across Palo Alto, California, where his main home is. San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Kauai Island, Hawaii. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Elon Musk and Bill Gates and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. As always, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I need you to let me know who to do next and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Although Mark is a multi-billionaire, his main residence is actually pretty modest. He lives in Palo Alto, California with his wife Priscilla Chan and their two daughters. It's in a neighborhood called Crescent Park, which is one of the most prestigious areas in the city, offering larger lots and obviously more expensive homes. Palo Alto is in Silicon Valley and Mark's home is of course close enough to the Facebook offices in Menlo Park, apparently only a 10 minute drive. Mark purchased this no frills home back in May 2011 for $7 million. It spans 5,617 square feet and has 5 beds and 5 baths. Although the house might not be what's expected of a billionaire, it's still quite elegant. Plenty of windows allow a lot of sunlight to get in and there's a picture perfect porch. Mark's home has a large outdoor space great for parties. The yard also offers an entertainment pavilion, fireplace, pond with waterfall, barbecue area and saltwater pool and spa. Inside Mark's family home, you'll find some cozy common spaces like living and dining rooms, as well as a kitchen with breakfast bar and cherry wood island. Not to mention there's what's called an east coast style sunroom. The decoration is fairly simple and traditional and there is wood flooring in most rooms. The bathrooms in the home come with heated floors and the master bath has a deep soaking tub made of marble. And since this is Mark Zuckerberg, it's a smart home as well. He introduced the world to Jarvis on Facebook which is his custom made AI assistant. Apparently in reality Jarvis actually has a garden variety synthesized female voice and is not Morgan Freeman. Although Mark loves his main home and it seems relatively low key, he decided to use the money he saved on surrounding properties. After 2012, he shelled out more than $43 million to acquire 4 homes. Eyebrows were raised when Mark bought up neighbors single story houses and submitted plans to tear all four down, wanting to replace them with two story homes forming a sprawling compound for parties and guests. But city officials didn't approve Mark's plan however and he had to come back with a revised plan to just rebuild two of the homes fully and leave two of them single story houses. A spokesman for the architect said, The construction plan will replace two of the current units with single story homes. It was crafted to minimize disruption to the community while maintaining the character of the neighborhood. According to documents, one of the homes became a single story home just under 2,000 square feet with a 3,000 square foot basement and the other one rebuilt was a single story was 2,500 square feet with a 3,000 square foot basement too. Mark's add on homes have also got approval for features like pool houses and storage sheds so we know he got to fix them up how he wanted to for the most part. Apparently he likes to buy surrounding properties to ensure complete privacy for himself and his family, and Palo Alto isn't the only place he's done it. 
Mark also owns a townhouse in San Francisco. It's located between the No Valley and the Mission District neighborhoods in Dolores Heights, which isn't the fanciest area, even described as gritty. So it's an interesting pick for someone with his kind of wealth. It's also said that Mark seriously overpaid for this house. He bought it for a massive $10 million back in 2013, but sources say it should have been closer to 3 mil. Not to mention he had to shell out an additional 1.6 million on renovations. His San Francisco home is 5,500 square feet and has four bedrooms. It was built back in 1928 and sits on a lot just shy of 10,000 square feet. There's also 70 square feet of sidewalk frontage. Locals were pretty annoyed with the renovation since the home was stripped down to the studs and took over a year to complete. This left neighbors with torn up sidewalks and no street parking. Some of the pricey renos included an addition of a first floor office, media room, half bathroom, mud room, laundry room, wine room, and wet bar, plus a new second floor half bath and remodel of the second, third, and fourth floors of the home. That cost almost 800,000. Mark spent an estimated 65K remodeling the kitchen and a bathroom and also added a greenhouse for almost the same price. Other upgrades put into the San Francisco home include exterior wall replacements, stairways, and seismic upgrades. Not to mention a new basement garage with turntable pads so cars can get in and out much easier. Of course, billionaire Mark's real estate doesn't end there. Around 2019, he decided to purchase two side-by-side -side mansion getaways at the beautiful Lake Tahoe. Both of the estates are lakefront with marina-style piers and perfect views of the water, situated on the western shore. Properties are in the casual chic Tahoe City on Lake Tahoe, which is a large freshwater lake on the state line between California and Nevada. It's the perfect vacation spot in both winter and summer, full of posh ski resorts and waterfront activities. Mark's compound spans nearly 10 acres in total with 600 feet of uninterrupted lakefront. The two homes cost him a total of $59 million. Crazy, but if anyone can afford it, he can. The smaller property of the two is called Carousel Estate and was 22 mil. It sits on 3.5 acres of land and the main home is Tudor style, built in the early 1930s. There are 8 beds, 9.5 baths, and several wood burning fireplaces throughout. I love the look of this place since it resembles a charming fancy cottage like something out of a fairy tale. This estate is said to be separated into three living quarters, but they're all connected by beautiful breezeways and technically under one roof. There's also an additional caretaker's home or guest home on the property. Other features include two buoys and a marina style pier capable of housing a yacht. The second larger home costs Mark $37 million and it's known as the Brushwood Estate. This woodsy mansion spans 7,000 square feet and was built back in 1964 with plenty renovations done since. There are also two detached guest houses adding another 4,000 square feet to the total. It has a rustic vibe, but all of the high and vaulted ceilings make the home seem like a super fancy cabin. There are a ton of common spaces to lounge in from the grand or great room to the living rooms throughout. There's a chef's kitchen, I think there may even be two kitchens, a dining room, a games room with a billiard table, and a sunroom. Other features of Mark's Brushwood Estate include a wine room, a three-car garage, two jacuzzis, private pier, slate patio with built-in rotisserie, and rolling lawns. Not to mention the property is super private, surrounded by huge pine and redwood trees and on an exclusive street. I guess when Mark vacations with a family here, they have to choose which home to stay in. Maybe they take turns. So now we've taken a closer look at where billionaire and man behind Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, calls home. Let's not forget most of his money was put into a different property altogether. In 2014, Mark purchased two properties on the Hawaiian island of Kauai for an insane $100 million. They span 750 acres of land and apparently him and his his wife purchased the land because they are dedicated to preserving its natural beauty. In 2017, the couple added on 89 acres for $45 million. Zuckerberg also reportedly paid $66 million for a plantation there which is located near an isolated oceanfront property spanning over 300 acres. The former sugarcane plantation includes 2,500 feet of beach and has a working organic farm that is home to goats and turtles. Reports say that his plantation property was approved for 80 homes, but the Zuckerbergs plan to build just one home there since they want to preserve the landscape. After 